Hello everybody. This is the beginning, the official beginning of my six week adventure down to the lower 48 through Canada, back down to lower 48 for a couple of days, head all the way up through British Columbia and the Yukon to Skagway alone. I am 24 hours away from hopping on a plane and uh, let's just say my studio is looking a bit rough. I still have a lot to do have a lot to clean. No one ever really tell you how much effort it takes to get ready to leave a place for a while. And I'm used to not having a place to come back to. So this is interesting. I've gotten most of the stuff done, but now I need to make sure I clean, empty all of the food from my fridge and I need to pack. I have not packed yet. Do y'all ever buy something and then leave it in the fridge and forget about it and then come back to it later and you thank yourself? That's what I did. I completely forgot that I had this delicious kombucha in the fridge and it's making my day. All right, well, we're getting closer. Still have to finish packing all of that stuff. But I'm making snacks for on the airplane with the rest of the food out of my fridge. Hard-boiled egg, <laughs> cucumber peach. This is gonna go in my water. This bell pepper looks sad, but we'll fix it, we'll fix it. An English muffin, snacks for on the plane. I am eons away from being a perfect human. But we do not like food waste in this family. So we're gonna try this little hack out that I saw on Instagram. Most likely it was Instagram or TikTok. And we're gonna make our little cilantro ice cubes. I have some ginger in there, some green onion, and we have a little surprise to come home to. I will let you know months from now if it's how it goes. The apartment is looking clean, and I'm about to jet set off into the sunset. Nothing like a clean apartment. I can't believe I got everything in this suitcase. Just what can us jet setting divas do? Maybe I'll make my bed look a little nicer, but everything is in order. Well, all I got to do now is wait until it's appropriate to call a taxi to go to the airport. Can't be too early, can't be too late. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Pretend I'm a jet setting diva. Going to LA, guys. Does anyone else feel this impending doom before they leave that they might have forgotten something? <sighs> the taxi person's coming faster than I thought he was gonna come. taken me all night to find a spot that nobody is in so that I can record on my camera without feeling awkward with people staring at me. My mother is currently on the phone and she's saying don't give a about those people. Alright everybody, I've already had dinner. I had a bon me at this Vietnamese place in Terminal N in SeaTac. I do recommend it. I think it's the best food you can get at the airport here. And then I bought some overpriced candy. That was good too. Stress ate that for a while, sitting on this couch thing. There were so many people here. And then I bought a bunch of snacks because I was on an overnight here at that airport. So we got Reese's pretzel thingies, some cheeses. My skipper on the boat got me hooked on these RX bars, they're really good. And this lip gym. And I'm currently on the phone with my mother, and she's telling me to not give people and pour whatever I want. Take up space. Do they know who I am? No, they don't. <laughs> but it would be cool if I ran into somebody who didn't know who I was. Because I'm lonely and I'm going to sit in a rocking chair for the next five hours and eat snacks and talk to my mom until she gets tired of hearing my antics. <laughs> so 
So the thing about traveling from Southeast Alaska down to the lower 48 or vice versa is that it really sucks because you usually have to spend overnight in Seattle. I just spent probably over $60 on food in this airport and I guess I could have spent that on a hotel but hotels here are like $200 a night close to the airport. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna spend that money on food while pulling an all-nighter in the airport. So we're just gonna record all night. Yeah. See, see my downward slope into insanity basically tonight. I hate having to pull all-nighters. I am a sleeper. I love my bed. But tonight we are going to just party in the airport. It's gonna get empty. And then we'll get, and then we'll get weird. There's too many people out about currently though. It is 9:41. Spirits are high. I'm rocking back and forth in this chair, and it feels great. I feel like a little granny, because uh, I feel like a granny on the inside, and so finally my inside matches the outside, and I feel alive, awake. Anxiety is fueling my adrenaline, and <laughs> I'm excited to get to my destination. But we have about seven more hours before we board our next flight, and uh, we'll see if I feel the same way in about 45 minutes. I think I'll crash here probably pretty soon. I got kicked out. <laughs> Remind me to always go in these bigger ones. The, the, the like family restrooms. It says all people and families, and I'm technically all people. This is fun. I'm in the family bathroom. But technically, I'm my own family. <laughs> oh, I got kicked out of the rocking chair spot. <laughs> They had to clean over there, so my joyful rocking chair fun ended. But now we are in the family bathroom. So how much more boring can this video get? I am announcing that I'm in the family bathroom. actually got some sleep weird <laughs> but we're an hour away from hopping on our flight number two of three lakeside rural town here in Michigan. It is so beautiful here in the summer and <laughs> I'm so tired at this point. I have no energy to move but I'm really really excited to stay. I just one thing I really love about spending time with my grandma and if you're watching this grandma is that I feel like we easily get into this um, cadence I guess is the word of conversation that is just so deep and thoughtful when we're really chatting like we just relate on that level so well it's like our souls have known each other for forever <laughs> and maybe that's true but 
I also have grown up thankfully with my grandma around a lot so I think a lot of the thoughts and opinions I have were formed by her and so that's why we relate on a lot of stuff same with my mom I think we're just intergenerationally we all relate on that level same with my brother we all grew up with this matriarch in our family with that's just very deep and thoughtful so I'm excited about this next week we're gonna spend together I'm so glad I'm not in the airport anymore and I'm really really excited to be reunited with Black Panther my Jeep for those of you who don't know tomorrow we're picking her up but then I'm immediately dropping her off at the mechanic to get some work done before I take her up to Canada to make sure everything is in order I've been having some issues with my radiator um, so we're gonna get that checked out and fixed. It should be a pretty simple fix. The radiator had mud caked on it, the back of it when I bought it, and I think it's just time to replace the radiator completely. So we will see. I don't know if you could tell in the, when I was at the airport, but I was very overwhelmed by the amount of people and options and things. It's just when you go away from that, it's like, for me, that's like my default setting is to be able to handle less and so when you're in more it's just a lot like I realize how much this does overstimulates me um, I can function in it obviously but it's just it pushes my anxiety to the edge so that's just where I'm at I'm ready to sleep get a good night's sleep and tomorrow yeah live life live laugh love <laughs>